I'm gonna need to take my sunglasses off for this occasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have eyes. After all. So, y'all know what's up. Thor's mighty ban hammer banishing from the standard land. These two cards, Fires of Invention and Agent of Treachery, are gone. Should we celebrate? Yeah. I think we should. Am I a little sad about one of them? Yeah. But am I really, really sad? No. So, I'm going to go over each one. Individually. Because that seems like the only way that makes sense. In reality. Okay, so fires. I agree 120%. Maybe even more percents. That thing is a mess. That thing makes the game play different than it's supposed to. That thing breaks all dimensions. So if you guys don't know what it does, basically, you can either read it, or I'm still going to tell you what it does. So, for four mana, you put it out. It's an enchantment. And then, as long as you have the amount of lands out that equal to the mana cost of the card in your hand, you can play it without paying its mana cost. And you can do it twice. You can play two things. Alright, so that's that's crazy. And it doesn't matter what kind of lands you have out. You could you can play something that costs four mountains with four planes. doesn't make sense it breaks all reality and I love that card so much I had so much fun with it oh I love it so yeah it has its drawbacks like you can't cast spells on your opponent's turn and you only can cast two things but golly come on now For seven, you have seven lands out, you can play two things that cost seven mana. So it's basically like you have 14 mana on turn seven. And that's with no ramp. By God, that is a, an amazing card, and I am so glad they got rid of it, and I'm so sad they got rid of it at the same time. It was destroying lives. It was. It made it to where you really didn't have to think about the way, the the mana base, the way you built your deck. You didn't really have to put a time into it. <laughs> as long as you got a fires, you didn't care what land was in that deck. You could run, you could run, uh, you could run twenty five mountains and a mono white deck with fires in it and be just fine didn't even matter five color decks doesn't even matter you could have a five color deck with one color of, mount of land that is funny that's funny that's that's broken but damn it I love it the drawbacks of it pale in, com in comparison to the pluses of it it's um yeah anyways so next card 
agent of treachery. This boy is a bad boy. He's a bad boy. You know, at, at the end of this, I'm going to tie them both together. But agent of treachery, you know, stand alone by himself. He's not, he's not broken. He's actually a decent card. Like he's a, he's a good card. He's a fair card. There's nothing wrong with him. He's been done dirty. He's been abused. All right. Fires of invention, stand alone. Ridiculous. Fires might have needed to never exist at all. It doesn't matter what what other cards it combos with. It just it just breaks it, it breaks the game. So, agent of treachery. I feel bad for him because of Luca and Winota and fires and all that. Yorion, bouncing agent. Everything else in the game, Bouncing Agent, everything exploits Agent of Treachery so well. Like, there's just too many things that turn him into a powerhouse. So, what do you do? You get rid of Agent of Treachery, or do you get rid of everything else in the game? <laughs> so, it makes sense. You know, the other cards that didn't get banned they're still good but agent is that fuel that just pushes them it's it's like get agent is just that that high octane fuel that you can only get in certain states you know what i'm saying just pushes the limits now without agent of treachery you might be able to not uh, want to throw your computer against the wall you know or scream at your cat stuff like that so like I said by itself agent of treachery seven mana for a two three he takes something okay not bad not bad still a lot of mana but with everything else in the meta You're basically God. Like you can just take lands and enchantments, planeswalkers, anything, anything. That might be the broken part about it too. Being able to take lands. That's that's ridiculous. But agent of treachery. I'm sorry, man. I feel bad for you, man. I've got sympathy. I'm sorry you had to get kicked out, but it is what it is. It's a bad mix. So, the Yorion Fires decks, they're going to have to come up with a new plan. You know, they're decent on their own without Agent, but they just don't have that cutting edge. Now it's just going to be, you know, Lyris, Cycling, um, Mono Red, stuff like that. You know, we're still going to have contenders. Um... Obviously, um, Azorius control is still going to be really powerful. Uh, this is going to, without fires, it's going to definitely, without fires in general, it's going to definitely challenge people to like build something. Like if it's a control deck, it's definitely going to have to have like the perfect mana curve and, you know, it's going to, promote a lot of different builds for for a while and I'm um, I'm pretty excited like with fires gone it just brings us back to that the way things used to be having to play having to actually decide what to play instead of playing everything and still having mana for abilities like Kenrith and Cavalier and all that stuff. Uh, it took it took a, a big element of of playability out. <laughs> you didn't even you, you you didn't even have to think 
about your mana, what you had. It's just a huge, huge part of the game that was missing as long as Fires was in the game. So, those two cards, glad they're gone. Companion, let's talk about companions. Okay. So, the new mechanic is three mana. So you spend three colorless mana once per game as a sorcery. Anytime you could play a sorcery in your main phase, not on the stack, three mana, you can take it from your sideboard into your hand. I like that. That's a cool idea. That's a pretty cool idea. That definitely allows your opponent some time to react to it, you know? Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as quick. It's kind of like when it's already in your hand, you can just play it at any time. That's That's way harder to prepare for you have no idea when it's gonna happen plus it's gonna plus it takes your opponent one extra turn to play it and with fires if fires were still in standard then it would have completely eliminated the entire com companion element that the new one the new mechanic of the companions it would have been pointless because you could just pay three and then just put it out it would have been the same thing so it it adds more strategic planning to the game that's what it needs so I'm I'm okay with that. Companion can shmamian min, whatever. That's cool. So I'm excited to see how it changes the game because it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but I think it's gonna it's gonna make a big impact. It's gonna make an impact. We're gonna see. Uh, we'll probably see some more new meta decks coming out. Um, Probably just better versions of a fireless control deck. But I'm excited to see what happens. It's going to be really nice not having to worry about all your stuff going to your opponent's side. So. Yeah, sorry Luca. Sorry Winota. Your new play toy is, is gone. He's gone. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to know what you guys think about this. If you agree, I know I'm missing something. You know, there's there's so many things. There's so many things that were terrible for the game that this solves. There's so many good things that are about to happen. And again, I'm excited about it. So, those are the cards that are gone. Now let's all go celebrate. It's a beautiful day for magic. It really is. And we're getting wild cards. Remember that. So anyways... glorious day I'll catch you on the flip side y'all take care keep top decking gonna bring out a new video soon you know good times y'all take care again <laughs> alright later